do a little visual. <laughs> Thanks, Heather. We're going to do a little visualization as well and some affirmations. So I'm hoping that we all feel um, better than once we started this call. So anybody want to share what oils you chose or oil blend or single note? Ah, one of my faves here. Let me see. Uh, Kim, okay. Oh, good one. Heather showed me hers. Wonderful. Oh, Terry, that's nice. Look at that. Ooh, all right. I like these. Thank you for showing me. Oh, awesome. And you could always write in the chat thread too if you don't want to show us on, on camera, if you don't want to be seen on camera. So we're going to talk about chakras. I'm going to be showing um, a video that I pre-recorded. So for those of you who don't know what chakras are, they are energy centers and I do energy work. So I love to talk about this. I love helping people with this. We have energy centers along our spine. There's seven main ones. So that's what we're focusing on this evening. And there are way, many ways to support our own energy because everything is energy. So it's flowing all around us and it affects us, other people, um, their energy can, can intermingle with ours and affect us. So we just want to always have some kind of awareness of, you know, our own personal, like hygiene, if you will, because mindset is body, mind, spirit, because it all is all interconnected. So there's the chakras, as I'm, you're going to see in the video, have questions in your mind. Um, and if their questions are not answered by watching the video, then we're going to have question and answer a Q and a after the video. Okay. And I'm always happy to, to, to answer anything I can. So I'm just going to go over really fast, like before we start the video. So there are seven main chakras and they are the root chakra, which is down by the spine, the base of the spine. We have the sacral chakra. We have the solar plexus is in between the rib cage and the solar plexus is, I'm sorry, the sacral is below the navel. I'm going to explain it more on the video. And then we have the heart, middle of the chest. We have the throat. We have the third eye, Ajna. We have the crown. So, and I'm thinking that I'd rather talk about this after the video. I have like signs when your chakras are blocked, when they're overactive and when they're actually balanced. Now we all get our chakras in and out of balance throughout our, you know, the days and weeks in our life. So don't think that you're abnormal. So I do want to highlight before we start abundance blend. And I do talk about it for the first chakra in the video. And then um, this is just one of many blends. If you're new to Young Living Oils, they are the highest vibrational substance known to man. So they are raising our frequency, our personal vibration. And when we have our vibration raised up, you know, our immune system is raised up and then we can have a positive effect on the people around us. And the same is true for the opposite. When we're feeling run down, dragged down, the world is extra um, right now, especially. So we really wanna be turning to the tools that we have. And I consider these to be very sacred tools. They capture the essence of a plant and the energy of a plant. So I'm highlighting abundance because it brings in the law of attraction, but be mindful of what you would like to attract in your life. And then I'm highlighting the king of oils, which is frankincense. And you'll see me talk about that on the video. And then if you only own one crystal in your life to balance chakras and help to absorb negative energy, the king of crystals, the king of all stones, I consider is quartz crystal. This is clear quartz. And you can imagine this crystal to be any stone with any properties. Okay. And then I just wanted to give a shout out to Amethyst because crown chakra and I love amethyst and it's very wonderful for our own personal spiritual work and then I'm going to talk um a little bit more at the end about my chakra shield spray um and I'll give you the secret formula so um just for now I want you to close your eyes I'm going to be cleansing all of your auras that are you know joining us right now um and then I'm going to do just some short affirmations that you can repeat in your mind. You don't have to say it out loud um, because each chakra has a, 
you know, its own, um, you know, what it's, what it really focuses on. So each thing is, um, you know, there's like a two word affirmation that we can say, and then I have a short sentence one. So just close your eyes. We're going to do like a nine seconds to bliss, which you can do anywhere, anytime. You're going to breathe in through your nose for three seconds and hold for three seconds. And then you're going to push out your mouth for three seconds. And that's nine seconds to bliss. And when you breathe in, imagine white positive healing light is coming in to fill up your body. And then when you push out your mouth, you're imagining that negative dense energies that don't serve you are coming out of your mouth. Okay. And just hold for three seconds in between there. When you're ready, we'll do four counts of the nine seconds. So it's going to be about a minute little less. In, hold, and then out. In for three, white light in, hold, out with the negative dense energies. One more time. And then keep your eyes closed. I'm just going to be talking to you in a soft voice. I am loved and supported. I am. I am creative and inspired. I feel. I am empowered. I do. I am at peace. I love. I am worthy of being heard. I talk. I am guided. I see. I am one with the universe. I understand, and so it is. Namaste. So just imagine white light is filling up your body from within and it's emanating out of your body. So white light is coming from within you and all around you, about six feet around you. And I just did a little prayer for your highest good to balance your chakras so you can feel grounded, feel connected to the earth, to Mother Gaia. Deep roots into the earth, centered, grounded, yet very connected to all that is, all that ever was and all that ever will be. The earth, the sky, heaven, the heavens, the universe, the multiverse, all this beautiful, unconditional love washes over you and you feel so, so guided and supported and loved and worthy. And you are enough. I am enough. I am good enough. And you are valuable. And so it is. So I think we're coming out of our little feeling good hopefully that was beautiful uh, tony oh uh, thank you so much. i just, I just felt, felt i can feel see <laughs> everyone's faces that i can see that everyone's glowing right now and i just know that like i felt a lightness come off of my heart and um good. i just uh i we all needed that i'm just gonna say that right now so glad that's all i want is to see everybody get a little lighter because things can get very heavy in life and serious so when we can Remember joy. Joy is our true, our soul's true nature. Love, peace, joy, and wisdom. So I think that we're ready, um, unless anyone has anything that they want to ask now, but I think we're ready to do the video and then we'll have the Q&A after. Okay, so I, I would like to, I, just this moment, just since you prompted that, and Lisa just posted a comment, she's feeling energy coming out of her palm, so that's her I, energy moving. Does anybody else want to share what they're maybe feeling right now? Mm -hmm. I felt it in my heart, Tony, when you, yeah, when, you yeah. uh, when you said I am 
I am peace. I am love. I was like, oh, I need that so bad. Uh, I felt it. Yeah. I'm so glad. Yeah. So the, the hands have minor chakras. So tonight we're talking about the seven major ones, but this, the palms have minor chakras. So, and also um, our, um, I say it in the video as well, but on our non-dominant hand is how we, um, we receive energy and our dominant hand is how we give energy, right? So I'm a lefty. So I, you know, it's opposite for, mo for me, you know, it's 11% of us are lefties. So the rest of you, it might be the opposite of mine. So yeah, so just be aware of tingling. Um, it's all normal. Like if I do energy work on someone and they've never had it before, they could feel a heat like kind of like coming from within or coming from my hands or just kind of tingling in their body and it's energy moving. So when energy moves, we can get stagnant energy and especially along the spine with this energy centers. So we want to move that. And I can also tell in an auric field, which is something that we all have, if there's protrusions or depletions in that energy field. So then I'm going in there to realign and fill it in and also remove excess. And we're going to talk about that at the end um, when the chakra is out of whack. There's signs to look for. Right. So, yeah. So we um, just being aware of our own energy is a huge thing, because sometimes people think that they're kind of a victim of what's happening in the world or what's happening in their personal life. But if we take responsibility for the energy that we are bringing into a space and then we start to be more conscious of where am I at in this moment? Right. And then just tuning in, it takes those nine seconds just to get back to the breath. And then we feel grounded and we feel more empowered. So then we end up more productive in our life, which is where it all ties into the whole mindset thing, because it's, it's all interconnected. If we're feeling frazzled and anxious and we're letting the world bring us down or people around us, then we're disempowering because we're giving our power away. So, so these are just some of the ways that we can bring our power back and, and feel really, really capable in our life and, and confident that we are here for a purpose. Every living thing has a Dharma, a, a purpose. So I love to help people figure out their own puzzle. <laughs> ah, wonderful. All right. So we're going to go ahead and um, turn it on to the pre-recorded video that Tony did for us, which, which is going to explain a, uh, more about what she's been talking about. So if you haven't gotten your pen and paper, go grab that real quick, but I'm going to go ahead and queue up the video and then we'll have a Q and A for the recap after the it's a 12 minute video okay all right guys hang on and if you have um any issues with the audio please you know message me or let me know hang on okay <laughs> come on come on angels help us out here <laughs> no doubt hmm. is it because you're streaming maybe because i'm recording i mean i've practiced this 10 times today don't worry so it's like <laughs> Keep the faith. <laughs> yeah. Keep calm and zoom on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> really? Oh, God. Hmm. Here we go. I'll try it again. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our November mindset class. And this, we're going to talk about frequency and energy and how we can support our chakra system. So for those of you who don't know what chakras are, they um, are energy centers. And the word itself is a Sanskrit word that means wheel. So we have seven main chakras along our spine. And I'm going to be going through them with this lovely um, chart here. And I have um, particular blends and stones in each pocket to represent each, each chakra. And my name is Tony, and I do energy work. So this is um, a forte of mine, and um, I work with clients 
and um, help people to balance their chakras. There's many ways to do that. Our chakras get out, out of balance all the time. When one gets out, they tend to all be out. So there's ways to align those. And um, this is just some of the ideas that you can put into your own um, practice for aligning your own chakras. So we'll start with um, the root chakra. So that is um, the color red is representative of the root chakra. And that would be the oil for that that I chose is Abundance Blend. So I know some of you watching are very new to our Young Living family, and you might not have this blend yet, but I highly recommend it. And um, at the end, I'm going to say a prayer, an abundance prayer, and then we'll do that. And you can see how I, I do that every day. And then this is a stone for the root chakra. So this would be... Um, it's red jasper. So this is actually the symbol for the root chakra. I use these on my clients when I do uh, energy work. I do oils and I do stones and sound healing and a bunch of stuff in my sessions. So there's a nice uh, affirmation that is printed on here that I'm going to read to you. I am con connected with the energy of Mother Earth. My body, mind, and spirit are grounded, centered, and purified. So we would put the abundance on the, our feet or the base of our spine. And there's a bunch of good stuff in Abundance Blend, and that is for um, bringing in the law of attraction. So that would be the root chakra. Now we have the sacral chakra, which is the color orange. And anytime we wanna balance our chakras, we can also eat foods that are that color. So this one is, this stone that I chose would be carnelian. And this is the symbol for um, the, the sacral chakra. So the sacral chakra is for creativity, emotions, and sexuality. And to go back a second, I forgot to say that the root chakra is for um, our foundation, our stability, grounding, and security. So I'm going to read you the affirmation and talk about the blend that I chose for to balance this chakra, which so now we have root down here. We have the sacral would be here is just below the navel. Right? And that would be, I am, I'm sorry, I love all dimensions of myself. I delight in wearing, I'm sorry, I delight in weaving the creative tapestry that is my life. So Peace and Calming is a blend that I just absolutely love. There's other blends for each chakra. I'm going to be uh, following up after this video in the, in the coming uh, week or two with other um, graphics on our Glow page and the, um, another page that I also um, run. And I'm gonna have like charts where you can see oil, stones, um, and affirmations for the chakras, okay? So this would be, um, like I said, creativity, emotions, and sexuality. And that would be our second chakra. And Peace and Calming is an amazing blend. Okay, now we have the solar plexus chakra, which would be in between the, the ribs here, like right under the, the chest here. And that is our power center. That is represented by the color yellow. And then the stone I chose for that is citrine. I actually chose two stones because um, they're both citrine, but yeah, let me just show you. This is a pendant, and then this is the actual stone. So... Um, like I said, there's many stones for each chakra. I just chose a few to show you. And then the oil I chose to, to represent um, and support and uh, balance that chakra is Harmony. Harmony is one of, and these are all Young Living oils. I only work with Young Living because they're the highest vibrational substance known to man. And there's no fillers, there's no synthetics, there's nothing added or removed as nature intended. And Harmony itself as a blend supports all chakras. So I felt that it was very important to highlight um, that blend. And then for an affirmation, and it, it's for the uh, willpower, self-esteem, intellect, independence. Um, and I, for the, the affirmation, my will and divine will are one. I am connected to the abundant flow of the universe and easily manifest my dreams. So that would be the power center here. And then we have the heart. So that's the middle of the chest represented by the color green. We hold a lot of layers in there. So that's a very complex chakra. It's a gateway chakra to the upper chakras, higher self. So this is um, 
Joy blend is what I'm highlighting here. This is very powerful blend. So um, this is about love, the chakra, compassion, forgiveness, relationships, and the uh, stone. I, I want to highlight rose quartz and aventurine. Here's aventurine with the symbol on it. Okay, and then rose quartz, and that is in the quartz family. So rose quartz is for love and self love. Very powerful stone for this chakra. And the affirmation is, my heart is open to receive the energy of love. I radiate this essence. I walk my path with ease and grace. So we can use any affirmations we choose, but these are just what's printed on this beautiful tapestry here that a friend of mine gave me. So Joy Blend is a mood lifter, and it's very, very high vibration. So when you apply oils, you're anointing, applying them, you would, let me just show you. I'm actually going to anoint one drop, if two come out, it's meant to be, and you're in your dominant, I'm sorry, your non-dominant hand, which is how we receive energy. We give energy with our dominant hand. So I'm a lefty. So in my right hand, I put a drop clockwise three times, activate the molecules, tap, smell. I like to smell three times. Everything for me is three. <sighs> and then you can feel it just, the molecules are just, really going to benefit your, your brain and your organs right away from smelling it. And then the middle of the chest is for the heart chakra. And then there's something called the Great Day Protocol, which we're not going to speak about tonight. But some these oils are all represented here that are in, the, in that protocol. So now we have the throat chakra, the color blue. And then I have it highlighted with um, the blend Valor. So Valor is amazing for emotional courage and it balances our polarity in our body, right? Which is a very amazing thing to do because again, it's all about alignment and balance. So the throat chakra is communication, expression, truth, purpose, and our speaking. I am aligned with my highest truth and communicate this with love and honor. My words echo softly within the universe. That's an affirmation. And then this is a very powerful stone called lapis lazuli. Okay, and then again, the color blue. And now we have the third eye chakra. I don't usually say the um, Sanskrit name for the chakras, but this one I tend to say that, that it's, the, it's the Ajna. So we have throat. I was saying this is heart. We have throat. Then we have the Ajna. So that's right between the eyebrows. And that is what they call the third eye. So that color is indigo. And then the stone is highlighted as sodalite, and that's the symbol. Looks like an eye. <laughs> and then um, I chose white angelica as one of the blends that would, you know, balance that chakra. So white angelica is amazing. It acts as a, or, um, an aura protector. It creates like an angelic shield around us. So the third eye is intuition and vision and perception and psychic abilities and affirmation is my mind is open to new vision i expand my awareness through my higher self and then last but not least we have the crown chakra which would be you would be anointing on the top of your head and that would be the color violet let me just get the blend out Okay, so the blend I chose is frankincense, the king of oils. Frankincense has many, many uses, so it's very powerful for um, the crown chakra. And then the stone, there's, I had to choose a second one because I'm very big on quartz crystal. It's stuck in here. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> so we have amethyst, which is a very another powerful stone for spirituality. And we have the clear quartz. So clear quartz is like the catch all first stones and crystals. So you can imagine that clear quartz is any stone with any properties, any color you choose. So if you only owned one stone, it would be, it'd be clear quartz. So the, again, this is a color violet and it's amethyst and clear quartz and it represents consciousness, the universe, source energy, the divine and presence. And the affirmation would be, I am connected to the divine source of the universe. I am light. I trust. And so it is. So that's the crown. And then if you were going to anoint, like I anoint clients, 
you would just put it in your palm and then you just kind of go like this. This is the top of your head. That would be, and then another way to do that would be if this was a vi frankincense vitality, which is a white label, I would put a drop on my thumb and I would put my thumb to the roof of my mouth and that would literally go into, you know, right up, right up into my, my head that way, into my chakras. So, so yeah, so this is the chakras, the main chakras. So again, we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And long ago, I learned it was Roy G. Biv. <laughs> and that's how I remembered it. So the affirmation that, I mean, the prayer for the abundance blend, I wanted to tell you. I'm just going to put a drop here. Okay, so you can do this um, every day if you choose. And you would just hold your hands. You can hold your hands above your head and say in deep gratitude and for the benefit of all beings, infinite riches, perfect health and harmony flow freely into my life now. If you wanna do it the exact way that my mentor taught me, you would hold your hands front and back to each chakra and say the, uh, the prayer eight times. So seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. Okay, and then I want to just highlight, I make a chakra shield spray, so that way it cleanses the aura, protects the aura, balances it. So that has things like white angelica in it, and the um, harmony, and the joy that I highlighted tonight, but it also has sage oil in it. So sage oil is like smudging without the smoke. So it's going to give you the same effect, but just cleansing your body, um, and you could put it in a diffuser. So... I hope you enjoyed tonight. If you have any questions, you can uh, contact me through Glow, through, um, you know, my private message me. I'm always here to help people. Okay? Have a blessed, lovely night. Namaste. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Tony. That was fantastic. I took tons of notes. Thank you. Everybody's still with us. Okay, right? I'm checking in on the the um, little Facebook group. Everybody's still there? Everybody can still hear us? Yay. Okay. Awesome. Oh, that was really, really, really perfect. I love the pairing of the oils with the affirmation with the colors and the crystals as well, because um, in the group here, like, can you put in the chat? I want to see um, a show of hands, like, who here is kind of like, would consider itself like either a newbie or semi-newbie to like crystals and the energy and the chakras and affirmations just so we kind of know who how we're where we're playing right now i guess if you're brandy new or you're mid-range or if you're advanced let us know mm -hmm. i know lisa you said you were a um, energy worker i know that you do reiki don i know you do reiki Jesus has been studying for several years. Carrie's Carrie studying for affirmations. Mm -hmm. And tyranny, of course. Yep. <laughs> Let's see what the Facebook group says. All right. And I know I want to mention a, 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 another thing. Um, you talked to Kim mentioned the gray day protocol. So the oils that you were highlighting, valor, joy, um, harmony, and white angelica and white angelica so those four are our have a great day or have a happy day protocol so if you're working with your chakras you're going to have a great day anyway so huh, it's a good <laughs> so the, yeah the great day protocol is very simple so you just put um valor on your wrist hold your wrists one over the other kind of give yourself a little chance to balance your polarities and then you would put the um Harmony goes on the solar plexus, which is the one, this, the power center under the chest, and then the joy on your heart, the middle of the chest, and then the white angelica on the shoulders, and then waft it around as if you have an angelic shield to greet the world with. And then the the shock the chakra shield spray like i said it's just distilled water uh witch hazel with alcohol and i did put some crystals in here you can get little little chips um that's optional but i like i really just love blending stones with oils they just oil i'm sorry stones are the second highest vibrational substance known to man it's like, it's like nature's jewelry so the oils are being young living oils being the top highest vibration so the, together they're just a powered powerful duo a dynamic duo if you will there's actually a book 
I was trying to find it. I bought it a while ago. It's a small little book called Rock and Oil. And it's really, really sweet. And it does show you like a lot of ideas about pairing oils with, um, with the crystals. So yeah, so the Chakra Shield Spray is sage oil. And you don't have, there's no like exact formula. I put like about say like 15 drops of sage in a two ounce bottle. Um, and then the Harmony Blend, I put about 10 drops, say. So 15 drops of sage, 15 to 20 drops of sage to 10 to 15 drops of Harmony. And then the Palo Santo, if you really feel like you want to protect yourself from any negativity, um, that's really a powerhouse. I didn't talk about that earlier in the video, but that could be added in here. And then Joy as a mood lifter and White Angelica to protect the aura. Uh, Harmony, Joy, White Angelica, Sage. Am I forgetting one? You do Valor? Bal and uh, well, I don't usually put Valor in the Chakra Shield, but Valor, I just love to apply every day for the Great Day Protocol and for okay. emotional courage like I put valor on tonight because I was going to be doing some speaking <laughs> to you <laughs> it, it supports is. the throat chakra <laughs> and you're doing a mighty fine job oh thank you so yeah so I just want to just give a quick um just and then we'll have Q&A but a quick um overview of when you to know when you're blocked okay in these seven energy centers so when you're blocked in the first chakra the which is um sacral um that would be the, I'm sorry, root chakra, the first chakra red, you would be ungrounded, anxious, and fearful. That would be when you're blocked. And then when you're over, overactive there, you're greedy, aggressive, cynical. And then when you're balanced there, you feel centered, safe, and grounded. So that's the first chakra. Second chakra would be the color orange sacral. That's blocked is low libido. You feel isolated and you fear, feel a fear of intimacy. And then when it's overactive, you are tend to, to could, could tend, not you personally, but you could tend to be manipulative, over-emotional and hedonistic. And then when it's balanced, you feeling creative, open and filled with passion for life in general, but also for, you know, your libido is, is really flowing. And then the third chakra for, say, um, for solar plexus is blocked is low self-esteem and feeling powerless and having an inferiority complex. And then if it's overactive, you feel power hungry, critical, perfectionistic, and then balanced is you feel confident, you feel empowered, and you feel um, at, like at peace. Um, okay, so fourth chakra is for the heart. If you're blocked, you're bitter, hateful, intolerant. If you're overactive, it's jealous, codependent, and self-sacrificing. And then when you're feeling balanced, you're, you're loving and compassionate and empathetic and at peace. And then the fifth chakra for the, the, thro the throat, you, if you're blocked, you're mis you feel misunderstood. You feel like you can't explain yourself and you can be secretive. And when you're overreactive there, overactive rather there, you're opinionated, you're gossipy, and you talk over others. And then balanced, you would be diplomatic. You would be a clear communicator and you would be confident in your self-expression. And then the sixth chakra is the third eye. So blocked is lack of focus, poor judgment, and can't and not seeing beyond the physical. And then overactive is nightmares, obsessive, delusions. And then balanced, you would be imaginative and intuitive and have clear vision and thoughts and be able to see beyond the physical. And then seventh chakra is the crown. If you're blocked, you're depressed, you have weak faith and you could have brain fog. And then overactive is you're dogmatic judgmental and ungrounded and then balanced you would feel a strong faith you would be you would have some awareness like consciousness and universal love 
and this is all said with no judgment because we all have times when <laughs> shockers go out and they come back in. And <laughs> so the, the whole point is that I want you to feel like you can have your own tool belt. And, you know, of course, Reiki is one of the ways we can give ourselves Reiki or we can give others, get, get Reiki from others. But we have these amazing oily tools for balancing our own chakras. And we have stones at the ready. So, and affirmations, and just so you, you know, for Terry's benefit, especially being new to affirmations, when we start an affirmation with I am, that is such a powerful statement because we are literally creating our reality in the now by what we focus on. So I know it sounds cliche, but it's so true. Like energy really does flow where attention goes. So, you know, the past is prologue, like we can't recreate it. So if we are being aware in this present moment, the greatest present is our full presence. So we can be like saying statements that empower us and build our future that we are envisioning. So we're, but we do it in the now. So that, so just work, like, just, just, just have fun with it. Like anything you want. I am, you know, happy. I am creative. I am successful. I am blessed. Okay? And then the more we feel like we say it, we, it's like almost like fake it till you make it when you first start doing affirmations, but it's a lot of fun too. And it really, it boosts up our, 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 um, ener our own energy fields. It's like conscious language, you know? Tony, I never knew like the difference between bl like blockages and overactivity in each center. Like I always just knew like, what like what it looks like balance and what it's not but I never knew there was two categories of being unbalanced that like blew my mind I was like oh my gosh like Aww. <laughs> that's yeah that was great you know, you know what's amazing like with all the clients I've seen um the most common place of overactivity is the solar plexus because that's like the power center so when I'm many people are um coming to me as stressed out and they're like type a's and they're trying to always micromanage everything and sometimes everyone because they're often perfectionistic. And this is all not without judgment, you know, for any anyone. But um, it's so common. I can't even tell you. It's like a big protrusion, like like way far out from the body. <laughs> so so that just shows me that you know, like a person isn't trusting that someone else will do the, do something the right way that they want it a certain way, but it's, it's no judgment. It's just that I would just go in there and just sweep it out and bring it back to balance because it's really like more overactive than any other chakra, mm -hmm. the power center. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. You know, it's so because you mentioned, you know, kind of following Tierney said is the overactive chakras and the one that you spoke about, the crown chakra being dogmatic. I mm. feel like that's the state of the world today, that everybody is very dogmatic about what they may or may not believe. And I feel like all this dogma from, you know, medical to spiritual is being pushed on us, you know, and I just, you know, to me, that totally resonated with me. I feel like everybody's crown chakra is like an overactive right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, you are so right, Terry. I just, I always pray every day since 2011 at 1111. That's a powerful angel number. And right. I say, I made up this quick affirmation. You can use it. May all beings awaken to their true nature of love, peace, joy, and wisdom, because so much is illusion, an illusion of separateness that's coming from like the ego part of our, of our, you know, not our authentic soul. So like if people remember, we're all interconnected energetically as souls in a body, regardless of the personal faith or, or religious path or spiritual path. So you're right because they're forgetting that it's there's many paths up the mountain but the view from the top is the same right. so they're saying my way no i'm right no i'm you know and i just focus on unity i focus on being love in action sending that out and we can all do our part and this is you know very interesting times like a spiritual kind of battle and i think of it as a personal test of our own faith 
and balancing our chakras and doing anything we can, being the change changes the being, and that helps change the collective. So you're, you're spot on that we just need to focus on how we're more alike than different and that there's many, many different views and it's, we're, we're all connected. They, they want us to be divided and we're not, we're, 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 we're here we are together having this experience on this earth. <laughs> Lisa, Lisa's saying, could we all get together sometime and send out positive healing light to the world? Lisa, I think we're doing yes. that right now. We, we like, are we collectively are us being together is, is doing something. Oh, the I prayer agree. we did prayer yeah, together. Two or more agree. gather, two or more gather. And, you know, and, <laughs> you know, we could do that right now. If, you know, if we, we wanted to just 30 seconds, just sending out, like, I like to start from the heart chakra. So it's the green, right? I, I always am sharing green emoji heart. So that's why, because it's <laughs> the heart chakra. So send it out, like from, from starting with our, our own personal ha- home, like ourselves, our loved ones, but then we can continue to go to our state, our country, and then the world. And then we could just literally send that out right now and we see a beautiful bubble of, of green light. We see violet light. We see white light and we see gold light. And it is literally hugging the earth from our hearts and our hearts are all connected here right now. And we are just feeling so, so connected to the earth and all that dwells upon her, Mother Gaia, Pachamama, all is sacred, all is energy. We have the two-legged, the four-legged, the winged, and the finned. It's all connected, all our relations. And it's a beautiful feeling. Just hold that for a moment, that feeling of pure, unconditional love. Sending so much peace and and just tolerance and compassion for people who feel lost right now. Some people just, they have a veil over their eyes, but the truth is always there. And love always wins and light wins. And we just know that. And we walk with faith, walk by faith, not by sight. And just be the light, be love in action. And so it is. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Beautiful. I love, I love you. this whole thing. Everything about this has been so special to me to just to give this way and share this way with all of you. Thank you so and, much. It was beautiful. Yeah, we're Don't honored do. to have Tony here because this is truly her uh, wheelhouse, obviously. <laughs> and um, this is just getting to have um, her be able to spread her light to all of us and then to have it in our glow community um, for anybody who wants to come back and watch it on the replay if you have to jump out if you had to leave early but um thank you yes oh wonderful so yes yeah, so have any questions besides right now and anyone watching the replay you just re- you can always message me for questions and anything about you know my services virtual or in person i'm i'm here to serve we all have a different dharma and a different part to play in, in what's happening you know, now and in future in the world. Yeah, let me ask you one question because I was reading this thing about affirmations today and I usually think of affirmations as positive, right? But they were saying that um, the affirmation of I do not consent is a very powerful affirmation. And I just, that seemed kind of backwards to me. What are your thoughts about that? Well, if we look at it from a place of conscious language, we want to focus on, I am sovereign. I, you know, things like that. I choose what's best for my, my body, my body autonomy. So if that, if I do not consent does not resonate with you because it is a negative, right? So like, basically I I used to march for against GMOs (laughs) back in the day before people were talking about them. And then I realized, I want to promote real food (laughs) and I don't want to be against something. I want to be for, you know, the thing that I'm wanting to create and, 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 you know, in my life and and, in the world. So I do agree with what you're saying and, and just, it doesn't matter what other people say, right? It, It to thine own self be true. There is so much noise in the world right now. There's so much chatter and it p- can be overstimulating and overwhelming. And some of us are empaths. 
Some of us are light workers and way showers and truth tellers. And we are here for a very, very large mission. So I believe that more and more truths are being revealed and we just need to hold on and hold the line. So yeah, so just do what feels right for you. Say the words that feel right in your soul in your spirit not what the world is saying right agreed i agree keep it in the positive it's more powerful it is yeah yeah if you ever want to know like at any given moment like what's feeling empowering or disempowering because i always tell my clients i'm like there's only three outcomes to every conversation and every exchange with anyone it's going to be literally uplifting or neutral or depleting like there's no other option there so when you have someone who consistently depletes you then you need to remove or create boundaries to limit that interaction as much as possible right so um it's really just checking in so when we feel expansion in our so back to the solar plexus <laughs> right so we feel expansion there it usually means it's something that's good for us go towards that which expands us and grows us Sometimes we want to like be averse to something because we're like, whoa, but it's the things that grow us the most are the most challenging. But as far as in a general everyday quick, like scanning your body, you could say, oh, I feel constriction. Now that could be fear, false evidence appearing real, but a lot of times our intuition. So we start to kind of learn the difference. This is, this is like lifetimes of work. I'm not just saying <laughs> overnight. Okay. But you'll start to like get a little more trusting of your own cues and trusting your body and the way it responds to energy and to others. And also just in a general sense, you know, universally that, that things are happening for our highest good. And, and that when we believe that, we, we know that people, places, jobs, cars, houses, things, they're directed towards or away from us for our highest good without exception. And then when we trust that, we release people and, you know, whatever it is, jobs, whatever it is, um, with grace and not so much ease sometimes, but with grace. And then we know that the karma has ended, the lesson that we needed to learn has ended, and then we can move on you know, more readily in our life. You are so that. interesting. <laughs> Isn't she? Oh She's the God. best. She's, She's the, best. the best. Thank you so much. So <laughs> <I'm getting ready. laughs> off. well, because we want to, Tony, but we want to, we want to like go out like on a, like a, wanting more and like on a high note and honor everyone's evening. Um, I want to say like, thank you again on behalf of the, community for being here and sharing your time and your wisdom and um your heart most of all with all of us thank you oh and next next month show up for our next third uh like installment of our um mindset monthly meeting i guess monday um it's gonna be december the 6th that's a monday night and um and i'll be running that one and um We'll have something fun planned for you, but uh, I don't know how I'm going to top this. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, but come back next month for some more mindset, okay? It's going to be great, Heather. <laughs> Good night, sweet friends. Thank you, Tony. Have a blessed night. Have a blessed night.